Troubling new numbers in BC's fight against COVID-19 with 131 new infections recorded over the weekend. BC has now passed the 4,000 mark in total cases with more active cases per capita right now than Ontario. Good evening, Mijung is off this week with the case count continuing to rise sharply this summer. Health officials are becoming increasingly concerned about young adults gathering in large groups and causing the virus to spread. One downtown Vancouver bar turned away a party bus full of people over the weekend. CTV Shannon Patterson now on the growing frustration over young people refusing to follow the rules. With capacity cut in half, the living room restaurant and bar needs to keep its remaining tables full to stay in business. But on Saturday... We're having as busy of a night as we can right now. And we just saw sort of outside of these windows a, a 30-foot black party bus rolled up and it was like a clown car. The doors opened up and it was just kind of, people just started pouring out and pouring out and they just, just kept coming. The partiers asked if they could come inside. The answer? Nobody who was coming off of that bus was going to be entering our building that night. Oh, I'm really impressed with how they handle it. Uh, that's exactly the right way to do it. We cannot allow people who are not abiding by social distancing rules uh, and group sizes to come into our establishments. But they keep trying, and this industry rep says... You know, we're getting a bit tired of having to deal with British Columbians who are continually not following the rules, which I think everybody should know by now. Asking uh, restaurant owners or pub owners or nightclub owners to break the rules is just not appropriate. And gathering at private homes to avoid scrutiny isn't either. Parties and gatherings with young people that you, many of whom you don't know, even if there are fewer than 50 people, are a concern. We need to do better collectively to stop these exposure events from happening. Keeping the maskless group who poured from the packed party bus out of his bar was a no-brainer for Falconer. Right now, for anybody in the food and beverage industry, turning away business is probably the hardest thing for us to do. Um, but, you know, I would rather be getting the small business that we are still allowed to be able to have next month as well, rather than see, it, see things go back into a shutdown because people are operating irresponsibly. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.